Hello. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Hello. And I'm Sam Healy. Welcome back. All right, so welcome to our Origins 2019 preview coverage. Uh, Origins Game Fair is the game convention I've gone to the most in my life. I've gone to that one more than any other convention. Hmm. And I'm not going this year. I'm going. I'm not going either. Two to one, you lose! Oh. All right. I will be there with Mr. Roy Canada. So if you happen to be there and see me walking around, unless I'm in the middle of literally footage, shooting some footage and talking to a camera, come up and say hi. Interrupt him. Don't do that. You know, don't be, be polite. Stick your face in the camera. Don't do that. Well, before we jump into origins here, the first thing we're going to do is say thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is Pandasaurus Games. Pandasaurus. You'll be able to find them at Origins at booth 537, where they got a couple new games. Um, Ohio. This is a game that actually came out at Essen, or just before Essen, and now mm -hmm. Pandasaurus is bringing it to America. You played this one, I think. I did. It's a very nice That's game. That's how you pronounce it, huh? Ohio. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like uh, Ohio, but it's uh, Ohio. Alex, oh. Alex is Portuguese in our group, yeah. remember? And he told me. Okay. Um, so this is, like, this is like Tetris. You're dropping shapes down and trying to get shapes of the same color together so you can have some area control. I really enjoy this one. Yeah, it's a good one. Cool. And then the other game that they're showing off there, this one I have not played, Dead Men's Cabal. Party till you die. Ooh. I bet you. I bet you like this artwork, though. That I do like the artwork. I like the the cards there at the bottom. That's um, that's a really neat look. The little pieces. Is that part of the game too? Yeah, yeah. I saw them. Um, so actually, there's a designer diary of this game on Board Game Geek. Mm -hmm. So you can go check it out and read it out, and he'll show you how the game came about. So you can find all this stuff at <laughs> booth 537. Thanks, Pandasaurus, for sponsoring this episode. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so talking about Origins, we have traditionally, I think we've done it, we haven't done it every year, but we've done it most years, where Sam and I have always gone through the site book. Yeah. And I'm here, too. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you've ever done a site book with us on this one. I'm here, too. <laughs> all right. So we're going to take a look at the site book. I've looked briefly through it. I don't think you guys have seen it at all. Oh, no, I, I, I haven't seen it. All right. Well, here we go. So first page, what is that? That's a, a fuzzy uh, deer. That looks like... Some kind like of vine, vine uh, moose. That looks like a... Right? Whippoorwill dragon. I think it's like a vine dragon, I, I believe. A vine dragon? Well, it's a dragon? It looks like actually just a, a it horned like a, it stag beast. It looks like a beast. deer, yeah. looks like horned stag deer thingy. It looks cool. By the way, I should sure. mention for those watching that like near, at the end of this video when we're done, we'll answer some questions if you have any about <laughs> origins itself. So stay tuned. That looks right. like artwork from... It looks like throwback, throwback artwork. Yeah, that doesn't look not, like, but not bad. I don't know how to describe it. It looks correct. like old Magic the Gathering artwork, mm -hmm. but from that artwork, the good one. Yeah, some of that art was bad. I like sure. that one. All right, so here you see half of the convention hall. <laughs> this is the way that they made the, they PDF, made the uh, right? PDF for whatever reason. I'm, I'm wondering if the book is like this too. That is weird. Why would? Unless it folds out. Oh, it must fold out. Okay. okay. Maybe. So anyway, yeah, it looks like they have pretty much the same things, but it looks like they're using more of that hotel than even before. This is oh, the side yeah. with the hotel on it. Could that be. Patel Grand Ballroom, we've, we've done one of our live shows there. Mm -hmm. It's a good layout. I like the 3D layout of it. Mm -hmm. I like the way they, they drew it up. Pretty yeah. good. All right. It's Welcome huge. to Origins. John Stacy, the new GAM Executive Director. He says the open gaming space has been tripled to 10,000 square feet. That's a big deal. Um, and they they have neoprene gaming mats in the boardroom. So that's not that, not a terrible thing, right? To the boardroom, the quiet room. So a lot of stuff in his letter comes up later on. Mm -hmm. Also, the mayor says hi, and please vote for me again. Will do. <laughs> So, Origins is a weird show because it starts on a Wednesday, and it's the only big show that is this long. Right. Most shows start on Thursday, but Origins starts at noon on Wednesday. So, and it, the exhibit hall doesn't open up till Thursday, so you'll yeah, see. So, it starts on Wednesday. Uh, that was in quotes because you can't see me. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's kind of a soft opening. I really have never enjoyed the idea behind this. The idea of like not simply launching an event when it opens, and hey, it's open now. I don't mind a show that opens a day before it opens the exhibit hall a couple days later. I don't like that. Just open it. 
no, so no, I know when the no, show the, opens. No, the exhibitors like that, though, because that gives them a day to set up, but people can still go play games. It's That's an illusion. They can just set up the day before we open. I mean, you know, of course it gives them a day to open just to, to set up. There's some things on here I haven't seen before. There's a pin trading happy hour. Done. <laughs> Z's right. Z's down. Okay, got to be there for that. I'm going to be a uh, pin trading fool. And you'll do the blood drive. Driving blood around. Got it. <laughs> the Origins <laughs> Family Comedy Show. And then later on, the Origins NSFW Comedy Show. I Not will. safe for work? Wait, you're going to be watching that from work? While you're attending the convention, it's just a technically short NSFW. way of saying filthy show. <laughs> you're not allowed to go to that show because you're at work, right? We gonna be cursing up in <laughs> oh, here. I forget this. FAQ. How do I pick up my badge? Do I have to wear my badge? Yes. What are See, well, actually, a lot of a lot of conventions in, in Europe. A lot of conventions in Europe don't make you wear badges. It's yeah. true. Right, in fact, right. at UK, no, you had to wear a badge at UK. But S and, S S and you don't. don't. You yeah. just got to show it to get into the actual compound. Right, sure. They don't care if you're wearing it afterwards. It's so, like a ticket. Yeah. It's like a ticket to an event. You yeah. wouldn't be wearing a ticket at a concert. You know what I mean? You're like, here it is. Boom. Ooh, oh, I, I, mean, I do. But I, mean, I didn't know this term too. here. Peace bonding is had those zips ties to mark a gun. Peace that it's not a... bonding? What is peace? Well, it makes a gun... Zip ties to mark items as safe and inspected. It's, it's like they'll put a zip tie on your gun for cosplay. Oh. Oh, got you. Okay. I will say this: what if you're about, going to are Origins, they do that for like uh, backpacks and stuff like that as well. No, 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 no like no, no, weapons. For weaponry, foam swords, and fake guns and stuff okay. like that. Here's the thing, though: if you're going to Origins looking for cosplay, it's there, but it pales compared to Gen Con. I agree. Yeah. Show policies, your typical, all this stuff here. Uh, origin store with the logo. They're pushing this monster as their mascot, well, and he's on doing everything. That for years, though. Yeah, they have. Yeah, but thankfully, finally, it looks slightly more high res. <laughs> I'm just saying, some of the, some of that imagery yeah, with that little monster yeah. has looked really kind of low res and pixelated in the past. I wish they showed what the T-shirt looks like, because this stuff I don't care about. I don't like a water bottle and all that jazz. They do have the mobile app. Everything, every convention's getting the mobile app these days. So you know what's where. Hopefully, it's good. That's the trick. Because having a bad mobile app does more does more damage than not having one at all, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Family Day is Sunday. They've always done this in the past where they have a good, uh, I think there's a deal if you want to bring your families there. And they have a lot of events. There's always a lot of, we we definitely have seen that in past years. A lot of families show Sunday? up yeah, on Sunday. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Not safe for work. Critter, crit, <laughs> critter Care, where they take care of kids. They have one of the best kids programs I've seen. It's, although, I mean, it's not cheap. It's $4 per hour per kid. Well, I mean, that seems reasonable as a charging thing, right? If I'm going to watch your kids, $4 an hour doesn't seem... $4 an hour is not bad at all. Is that bad? I mean, no, for he's most of us that don't have seven children. <laughs> per kid, though. $28 an hour! That's, that's not so bad. I don't know. I, I mean, guess. if I'm going to the show... For eight for, hours for four days? Nah! <laughs> yeah, that's, that seems good to me. That's cheaper than, like... How sitting a dog or something. Yeah, yeah, I think it's right. makes sense because kids don't poop on your furniture. So the quiet room. Now we, I've seen sure the quiet room. This my is, furniture, anyway. The quiet room is a very specific thing that... Wait, what? Like, it says, are you feeling overwhelmed? Need to step away from the hustle bustle. Go to the quiet room. And you have couches, phone chargers, and you just... It says for low-volume gaming, though. That's usually like a Gen Con, a quiet room. I don't think there's gaming allowed in there at that all. That does not make any sense to me. That's gonna... People are going to abuse their being gaming in that room. It needs to be a game-free area to go and sit and be like, Pooh, it's noisy out there. Let me just sit here. Chess. No, I think... Honestly, I think there should be no gaming in that space. Because hmm. someone will read this and go, You know where we could get a table. Yeah. That's the that's counter the point. Well, I'm gonna be in there at least ten minutes of every hour, and if I see one fool in there being noisy, whap! <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually something that I'm like, ah, eh, I get it, but I don't need the quiet room per se. But I understand. I mean, you like to get away every once in a while. Oh, absolutely. We often know but from people. There's people in the quiet room. I want to go outside or something. Well, to me, that's what I'm. That, that's that's my. Un misunderstanding of this. Why? Why would I go to a quiet room inside? 
I can just step outside and have the same effect. Yeah, but some people want to, even outside, some people don't like the stimulus of all the noise and everything, the sure, cars sure, and sure. all that. To me, yeah, stimuli. To me, if I'm close to my hotel room, that's where the quiet place would be. But if you're like half hour away, then you don't got yeah, a choice. No, it's a good idea. I like it. All right, blood drive, get blood, be a hero. All right, yeah, the exhibitor. Oh, that looks a little bigger than it's been in the past, maybe. I don't know. Or the I booths can't got tell. smaller. Just at that. All right, so the biggest booths is hey, cool stuff. Asmodee does not have a huge presence. This is one of the things about Origins. Asmodee has never had a huge presence there for whatever reason. I don't Although know. they do have Catan there, so that's no compared to their Gen Con thing where they take well, up one well, of third course, of the yeah. room. Well, no, 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 yeah. So what do we got? We got Indie Game Studio there next to Cool Stuff. That's that's Stronghold there. Yellow there. North Star across the hall from them. What's that big one in the front? Wiz Kids. Kids. Don't forget to check out <laughs> Pandasaurus Games. That was like 537, I believe, is where that was. Yeah. Yeah, this looks good. I mean, it's it's the exhibit hall last year split the thing into two, and I forgot to go back and look. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't do that real quick. Ah! Hall B, is that the exhibit hall where they split them again? Oh, you know what? I don't know why I did that. Ah! <laughs> we can look here. Hall C, yeah, they split. It. This is something I do not, I did not like last year, and I wish they weren't doing still. No. That exhibit hall in the middle of the other two we halls. You have to walk through a door and they check your badge as you transition from half the exhibit hall to the other half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's annoying. Well, I just didn't like at night, if you're in hall A and you want to go to hall C, you got to go out the front and all the way around to go back in hall C. Really? You don't remember that from last year? We were in no, hall C last year. I was year. outside avoiding fools. Hey, look, in Twist, Gaming, quiet Twist Gaming took our spot. All right. I'll, you want me to let them know what's up? <laughs> don't get just, walk in there, Don't get comfortable. Oh my, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so so no, Origin says area something that kids. most cons don't do is these booths here will stay open after exhibit hall. So when you see the, the Wiz Kids, the yellow ones, the Fantasy Flight, means? yeah, the yellow. Well, and yeah, yellow and yellow. These no, booths. No, I mean like the yellow colored ones. That's what that means. Oh, I think all these booths. I think yellows are the sponsors of the con. Got it. Got it. Um, all these booths. They may or may not stay open. Sometimes they stay open late. Mm. Sometimes they don't. But they're not bound by the hours of the rest of the con. They can be, but they also have play areas. Like last year, come on, had a huge area, which is gone this year. Right. If you remember, it was right here. There was they're not really even. They're, they're not even. I don't here, think right? they're at the con at all. Oh, okay. But you could go play in these areas. So this Origins boardroom is huge. That, that area is pretty big. It's bigger than last year because it was about like that last year. Right. Half of it. Um, and that, if you want to play games, you pay an extra $15, which I think is unfortunate. I wish they just had free open gaming at this mm -hmm. point. But you pay an extra $15, $20. I forget how much. Well, we'll find out um, as we go through and you can play in that area. All right, new releases. So let's talk about these new releases real quick. We've already mentioned that they group them into an area to let you know just what's new. Sure. Unfortunately, here, not all the new releases are listed here. For example, we mentioned the Pandasaurus ones. They're not on here. So I'm not oh. sure how you get on this list or not. And some of these games are new or they're kind of new. Right, they're right, new right. wish. But it might be the first time they're at a U.S. convention, for example. Because Copenhagen from Queen Games... Is already at, at was at UK Games Expo sure, for sure. sure. So Space Explorers, um, I don't know that one off the top of my head. I reviewed it already. And it's good. Good. Capstone Games, Fuji. You guys thought that was okay. Ah, it's okay. Yeah. Five or six out of ten for me. Magna Storm, yeah. I really like. And Pipeline, I've yet to play. Check Games is selling code names Duet XXL. That seems like a who cares. I thought that was going to be a thing where they would show off a really big one at conventions, and I guess enough people wanted it that they decided to sell it. I get that you but want I a agree. giant Who code names, but why would I want a giant code names for you and me? I mean, the only reason I can think of it is... Um, Old people? Yeah, bad, bad eyesight. Yeah, but why would that be your focal point? Though? I agree, I agree. I don't well, know. Chuck is probably saving that, a bigger release for Gen Con. Yeah, maybe so. Flying Buffalo, Highborn, Jayhawk, uh, Japanime. 
Kitchen table board games and Burnt Island games. I don't remember them being at Origins of the Past, but Bugs and Rugs. It's, isn't that kids' table? Did I say kitchen table? Sorry, you kids' sure table. Did. Bugs Whatever. and Rugs. I actually have that at home. I haven't played it yet. But Rec Raiders you like. Oh, I like Rec Raiders a lot. Yeah, I got to get on that. Um, Master Monk, Nomad's Magnetic, Stealing Her Logo, Dice Tower. <laughs> I like North Star's game, Product, Dirty Pig. I'm on it. <laughs> Go get yourself that dirty pig. I haven't heard of this one. I have to say, I'm not sure what this is. <coughs> Hasn't. I don't either. Doesn't. Isn't ringing any bells. Well, we're done here real quick. Maybe we'll open up the BGG preview and look at that real quick. Queen Games is. has Copenhagen, which is good, and Merlin the expansion, oh, and Luxar cool. the Mummy's Curse expansion. Mm, okay. Rainbow Star has a game called Hooch Stooges. Hooch Stooges. <laughs> That's hard to say. It Hooch is. Stooges. That's a, that's a tongue twister. Yeah. Renegade has a whole pile of new stuff. Yeah. Bubble, Bubble Tees. Bubble Tea, Oathbreaker. That's a good one I liked. I didn't um, realize that Game of Thrones Oathbreaker was theirs. No, Am I missing something yeah, here? Yeah, because the folks who came here was the... Um, the design studio. The so design the studio. They're the same design studio that did Clank. They just do their games through Renegade, kind of like the guy who who does all the architects and all that stuff. Got also it, works got with them. Got it. Got it. Okay. Revolution of 1828. I haven't heard of that one. Yeah, either. it's a small I little box. That, looks yeah. nice. And oh, Lantra's okay. dice looks really cool, actually. Okay. Man Riders game has the Crusoe Crew, which is great, and Graphic Novel Adventures Season Two. I'm trying to remember if I've seen that one yet or not. I don't think I have. Season Holy one was had a lot of cow. highlights in there. Look at Wiz Kids. Well, Wiz drinking for, from the fire. For Holy Wiz Kids, Origins is their big thing. Dice Masters and Hero Clicks is a yeah, lot of what's here. True. Okay, yeah, so they got yeah. a lot of that stuff here. Right, let's see what they got. They but, always have that. So big, let's cut huge that Hero out. Clicks. We got Europa Base Alpha. I don't know. No, Kodachi. I it's excellent. You like it? Yeah, very much. Okay, Palm Trees. Uh, oh, that's the really dumb one where you wear a sleeve that's on your arm. That's right, yes. Mm. They came with these things like plastic cards that are supposed to be the fronds. Is that yep. what that's called? Yep. And then you put on a sleeve that yep. makes your arm look like a palm tree, and then you hold and these you things hold in between fingers, trees, and your yeah. arm becomes a tree. You guys are selling us. Okay. So mm -hmm. dumb. Um, Super derb dumb. Quarriers Quultimate Quedition. I'm out. <laughs> You actually want that, probably. Yeah, maybe. I do still have a lot of Courier stuff in my yeah. in my collection. Uh, Ravnica Inquisition. You you played that one. I haven't played that yet. Ravnica. Ravnica. Man. Ravnica. Ravnica. I haven't. Have I played that? I don't. I mean, if I did, I'm not really. I haven't. I don't think helping sell it. I don't. That's not. I'm not oh, okay. Smash City is the monster one. That one was okay. Well, there's one thing they're coming out with, which is not on the list I'm looking forward to. But well, let's go. When we get done here, like I said, we can look at the board game geek thing. Guest of Honor. Um. I know. Is it Elisa? I don't said? know who that is. Well, she's done a lot of things, but she did she did parts of Betrayal at House and Hell Widow's oh, Walk. Okay. I remember that. She does a lot of RPG stuff. Okay. Yep. Uh, and she works a lot. In the past, she's worked with James Ernest and Mike Slinker and that crowd. Sure. Okay. Got it. Um, I do not know Lisa Sell's artwork, but it's, she's known for a lot of sculptures. Cool. And then Mercedes Lackey. I don't think I've read any of her stuff. Or Larry you Dixon. You know who she is, probably. No, I don't, actually. She's a very well-known fantasy writer. Okay. Well, again, I just don't know these folks very well. Special guests, they got Buffy the Vampire Slayer people and Doctor Who. And I'm a Doctor Who fan, and I was kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who these people are. I don't know who any of these folks are, unfortunately. All right. Well, that doesn't mean they're bad. It just means we don't know who they are. Then the Hall of Fame. So each year they add certain people to Hall of Fame. Last year they added Eric Lang and Ken St. Andre. This year they're adding Gerald Brom, Vlada Kavato, and Jamie Stegmeier. Ooh. That's two pretty solid board game names. The other guy star. is uh, an illustrator, so I'm glad that they're adding illustrators. That's, That's a cool, cool thing. Oh, it's Brom, right? Is that who that is? Just Brom? Well, they call him Brom in the things. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's. I love his artwork. He's a very well known illustrator. Very it says dark he's stuff. currently kept in a dark cellar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, that would that would make sense. His stuff is really really dark. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. That would make sense why he I likes it. it. Yep. Yeah, oh, there, there's seen... a picture. There's a picture of it. Oh, I've seen that kind of artwork before. It's his. If it looks like that, I mean, if you see a Brahm illustration, you know it. You know it because he has a unique style that is like all his own. I have actually a set of coasters at home with Brahm illustrations on oh, okay. it. Okay. I really like. I'm not, not visiting. All right. 
Origins Awards. Okay, so the Origins Awards, we talked about these before. I find it interesting that the Origins Award this year cost 40 bucks to go to. I like going to that, boss. <laughs> Not for 40 bucks. That's right. I just made 40 bucks. <laughs> I didn't say I was giving you the money. Oh, man. <laughs> if, if I did tell you, like, here is it, you come back, you'd be like, they were great. Like, who won? You're, you're like, hang on, let me look it up on Twitter. There's a bunch of illustrations by Brom. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's super dark. Yep. And that's naked, like dark. Naked, naked ladies. Dark Cthulhu. Okay. It's steampunky and sort of post apocalyptic most. And a lot of So, Origins ladies. Awards, um, 40 bucks. There must be a meal involved. <laughs> No, it says hors a cash bar. Hors d'oeuvres. Hors Why do I always say that wrong? Hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres, a cash bar. <laughs> Why are you paying 40 bucks? They give you cash at the bar. What's a cash bar? Okay, anyway, shut up. That's where you go get cash okay, so, at the bar. So the hors d'oeuvres. You we, have to pay with liquor. We've been to this in the past. <laughs> we, we've been to this in the past. These hors d'oeuvres were not something to write home about. I wouldn't pay 40 bucks to go to it. I mean... I don't know what the appeal is, what the attraction is. You get to be in the room with sort of gaming celebrities. But quote you get unquote. to be in that room downstairs Behind. in the exhibit hall. It's the I same agree, thing. I agree. I agree. I'm not sure what it is. Why you have to pay? I guess again, last year it they let the public in. The last two years they let the public in for free, and they were like, "We need people to come." They gave board games away to everybody who came. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. And now, now it's like you got a free board game last year. This year, forty bucks. Unless they're giving a game to everybody again. Maybe. But yeah, still, but you're paying you pay, for it. Why would you pay 40 bucks and then not have control over the game that you get? Agreed. I'm not sold on this, and here's what I think is going to happen. I think no one's going to go, except for the industry people. Oh, maybe. maybe. But maybe that's what they want. And then you can go vote on the thing. So if you vote, though, they give you a generic ticket. I've always thought that was a neat thing. Get a generic ticket just for going to vote. Yep. Okay. Um, and Game Toppers are sponsoring that. You can see their tables there. Here's the nominees. We've already talked about this in the past. I think Root will win. Um, the People's Choice. I have no idea what will win the. Uh, <laughs> oh, are these all? Uh, that's a pretty good. That, I, that's hands good down, that's a good selection. For the most part, game of the year. Smaller. That's game of the year. The board games thing. Well, no. Here's what they do. They you vote for all this, and then there's a vote for game of the year, but it can be from anything. So it could be a RPG, it could be a board game, it could be a card game. There's one huh. thing that wins the game of the year, I think. So the best from every category gets sure. put into... But I mean, uh, it's, kind of it's always been, the last couple of years, if I remember correctly, it's always been the board game. Yeah. Because that's the most, well, no, maybe the card game, the collectible games are never really a game anymore. They're usually just an expansion pack, so. Sure. And then the family games, and I'm still not sure how they pick what goes in what category. That is interesting that the collectible games category is still just dug in there, still hanging on. Wow, that is an eclectic group of games for... For, for family? family. Well, they're Spy not games. bad, though. I mean, no, Pantone, no, Spy really Club. Bad. It's just they're all over the place, yeah? Yeah. I mean, even the level of, of difficulty in that group is pretty sure. diverse. Yeah, and then I look at the game accessories, but there's really nothing there that gets me that interested either. So, all right. Then there is, this, now we're in the tabletops game section, so there's different events that they have. There's a Wits and Wagers game show. <laughs> that that I, I has a soft spot for me because that's what got us starting doing it, by, mm -hmm. by playing it at Origins. Mm -hmm. Rio Grande has an advertisement here for their new games. I think Caravan is the newest one there. Yeah, what is that? I've never seen that cover. That is actually a nice cover. That must not be a Rio Grande game. So, Pokemon and card games, role-playing games, and I think in the book... Ooh, Pathfinder. That's a cool, that's a cool illustration, that's actually. That's an awesome illustration. Well, they got amazing art. Yeah. Miniature games. So this is interesting here. Live, Live sculpting. Live sculpting. Hmm. And he's going to sculpt the, the ma Origins mascot live, and then the auction will it'll be auctioned off for charity. That's cool. Pretty cool. I might have to check that out. Yeah, you gotta take some video of that. Yeah, Thursday yeah, yeah. through Leave Saturday. a camera there. Do a time lapse. I would love to be able to do that, but no one will steal the camera. Sure. Oh wait, go back. Battlestar Galactica 33 event. It's a continuous, ongoing dogfight. Bring your own ship or buy one at the booth. If you're shot down, you respawn and join the fray. 
That sounds interesting. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. No, uh, it does. It Peyton Take has always been there. Last year, last year it was right by us. We know that because we went and grabbed some entries and had a painting competition. Yep. Which was as good as this one for sure. I'm sure. Yeah. You were there. You judged. Oh, I know. I, 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 <laughs> One of the judges gave my miniature a wash. It okay. wasn't as good as So there's the a community room. family room. This is different. I don't remember this at all. Union Station Ballroom C. So Union Station Ballrooms, last year Union Station Ballroom B was where we had our show. Mm -hmm. So it's in that size room. Mm -hmm. um, so now different people can come in there and show off games and you can play them as like a family. That sounds like a good idea, frankly. Mm -hmm. Uh, sensory friendly gaming. Oh, the pinball machines and stuff. Hey, gamers, pinball has rules too. <laughs> Is that how you advertise people? Hey, my game also has rules. <laughs> like, <laughs> how about pinball's fun? Sure. Well, this say lots be, of prizes, kind of lots lie, of fun. You don't Does, like pinball? I'm just kidding. Does I'm pinball just... have rules? No. Yeah. No, like you have to hit it here, and then you hit it here, and then if you hit this three times in a row, I guess. But where those rules aren't. Anywhere, right? I mean, are they like printed on the machine somewhere? Sometimes. I always have to figure them out. You know what I mean? If I can just be like, boo, 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 and I'm technically doing it correctly, it has the most nebulous, de I, you know, I'm definition doing, of rules. I'm doing a thing. Like, I'm making it do what everyone else makes it do. <laughs> I wouldn't call that necessarily <laughs> rules. And this is, oh, and I know, okay, I know about this. This is Path of Play. Oh. Do you guys remember that guy who came in and interviewed me and you guys? He was talking about uh, working with kids who had disabilities. He came in and talked to you guys about Jack Vassell. Yeah. He was from Canada. This was ages ago. Yeah. This guy's in charge of that room. Okay. This is his thing he's putting together because he's trying to do games that give like a stimulus to people, gotcha. uh, to kids. Where is this? Gotcha. Uh, la, 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 la. Room A115. Yeah, so that's in the convention on the bottom floor, I guess. Okay. Then right. I'll put that on the list also. I'm going to have to go through this again, honestly, but I'll do it there with a book. Yep, yep, And yep. try to hit up these places. So the ribbon program. So they still have Puffing Billy. So this <laughs> what is Puffing Billy? That's the train game people. You get Puffing Billy, you play in a Puffing Billy section, and they play only train games. But it could be any train game. They'll play Ticket to Ride, XX. If the game is train themed at all, it's allowed. Oh. It's just, that's weird, right? Like being all about a theme, not even about a kind of game. Right. It used to be, it used to make more sense when it was kind of the 18xx and the Cran Rail games, because that's a very specific kind of gamer. Mm -hmm. Then they have Trans America, and you're like, um, I know. I want to start one called Silky Smooth 2019. I play any game that has silk as one of the resources. <laughs> anyway, I'm telling I, you, this would take off, man. Silk. Then there's they would an have to do deck. it in a silk outfit. Then the boardroom, that's the ticket that's... Here's the deal, folks. If you want a boardroom ticket, I'd get them quickly. They do sell out, it seems like, every year. Mm. Origins University means you get to go listen to people give lectures and things like that. And then Real Grande Room is kind of like the boardroom, but it's one kind of game. They've been doing that for years, too. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. I don't know what Amped Guard is. Is that RPG? I think that's the people that meet up dress and cosplay and like actually do battles. Got it. Okay. Chris People says that's the cosplay, cosplay stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right. So here is the boardroom. It's a $20 ribbon. Okay. So that's how much it costs. Okay. Um, there's a thousand games. They have a library from the Cabs Library. The Cabs is the Columbus Area Board Game Society. And that's a pretty solid library. They have a lot of games. I, when we were, it's been a while since we've gone to it because we had our own booth. But if you want to play games, go there and Game Toppers is there and all. Mm -hmm. That bothers me. Where it says heroes come in all sizes, so do dice. You either capitalize that middle D or you, or you don't, don't on dice. <laughs> yeah. Pick one! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've seen these dice. They're cool, but they're the kind of dice you buy and then you'll never use because they're too heavy and they will mark up they your really table. They really are too heavy. They'll wreck whatever you roll them on. Now, this table they might be okay on with the felt top. They really maybe. are just too heavy. But I, I've i right. never seen anyone use them. They're like, oh, look at this cool dice. As dice? No, as weaponry? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, James McIntyre, for your two bucks. Buying some metal dice with that. <laughs> okay, electronic gaming. So there's laser tag. That Come on. That picture is very ominous. 
I know, right? <laughs> That's like, super scary. Yeah. Come to the dungeon. <laughs> I'm about to laser you out. Gotta say, I don't like that font, though. That font looks kind of like... It looks old. That looks like a flyer at the school's uh, cafeteria or something. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing does with the pictures wow. and all. All right. But cool. Oh, Artemis. Artemis is always fun for Artemis me. Artemis is, yeah. is neat. <laughs> uh, how LARPing. much is that laser tag? Did it say 10 bucks? Okay. I'm curious how long it lasts. Yeah, right. 10 bucks isn't bad if it lasts... Half an hour. 20 minutes or something at least, yeah. Anything's cheaper than True Dungeon. <laughs> well, that's true Dungeon true. is $58 per person. Per person. And that doesn't include all the money people spend on those chips and accessories. Wait, you got to have your own stuff? No, no, no. They'll give you the stuff, but it's garbage. Oh. Like, if you want good stuff, I mean, they'll give you like a, it's like a, whole market a booster of pack. And people pay hundreds to thousands of dollars for chips. Mm mm. No, it's I mean, I think like, it's neat. I'm glad this exists, it's but amazing. it's... They've like, priced me out of it. Yeah, yeah, right. It's amazing the amount of economy that is has been injected into the system that is apparently supporting itself. It's it's incredible. It is, but I mean, 58 bucks. You could talk me into 58 bucks for an event that was like a good chunk of the day, maybe. But then it's not 58 bucks because I'm not going on this by myself. Sure, right. So I'm going with at least one other person. How long does this last? 90 is minutes, it, maybe? Is it like a... Two hours at the most. Two hours? two hours? Two hours, yeah. That's... I guess. Not horrible, I mean, if you but think it about is how much you pay person. for a, Think about how much you pay for an escape room. It's what, right. 25, 30 minutes. Well, I bucks. think escape rooms are expensive, too. Oh, well, yeah. And, it, and you're done in, like, what, 30 minutes one or an hour. hour? One hour, yeah. Um, Mostly. So you're paying... And it kind of makes sense. It's not horrible, but it is, yes. For two but hours? it still prices me out of it. Is <coughs> what sure, I'm I agree, because sure. you got to go with a group. And I feel like saying, $58, good Lord, that's a lot of money. How about I give you $2, you may let me peek in the front let me door. Just, let me just smell one of those chips. So apparently these games are now just called deception games. <laughs> And it makes sense, though, that Deception, Murder, in Hong Kong is on that list, because otherwise yeah, I, we'd cry right. foul. Yeah, no kid. <laughs> <laughs> is this game count? No, that's not a Deception game. But it's sir, actually it's in the title. So we're, you can see the evergreens here, though, right? Are you aware of Two Rooms and a Boom, Deception, and Secret Hitler? Those are, are the four. Are Two Rooms and a Boom one of the evergreens? At this point, yeah. Ugh. They were playing at UK, too. I know you don't like it, but... Ugh. <laughs> Okay, so Origins University is where you get to go to seminars and workshops. There used to be a ton. Look at those creepy hands. <laughs> those are creepy yeah, looking. Is. <laughs> there used to be a ton of these seminars at Origins. They've kind of died down. It's hard to go to a seminar when you know you could be having fun. Ooh. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Unless yeah. I mean, going to a seminar is fun. No, 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 no I get that. I get that. It really yes. interests you. Yeah, then yeah, sure, yeah. I could see that. Because where are you going to go where you can listen to some people who know what they're talking about it? talking about it. And a lot of these things matter too, right? So LARPing, anime, oh, I want to go learn about this, art college, sure. education, game designer, and then war college. The war college is one that always has bog on my mind because I see the things and they're like really specific. They're like, uh, the, the the submarine warfare in World War II, 1943, late fall. I'm like, oh man, you know, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Origins Library, this is where this is their way of uh, bringing in authors, where people come and talk to people and sign yeah, stuff. So there's all the authors. You can see Mercedes Lackey and Larry Dixon are the big ones, so but there's a whole bunch of other ones there, there. too. Da -da -da. Cat Rambo. Actually, this is the first time I haven't seen uh, Timothy Zahn on the list. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, un that's uh, strange. He's been there every year that yeah. we've been there. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't recognize anyone I don't recognize any of, of these. Aaron head. Rosenberg looks familiar, but... Yeah, Greg Wilson looks familiar to me, but I may, might be imagining Unless Timothy Zahn and Michael Stackpole are so, they come every year, maybe they're in their own thing. Who knows? Right. Artist Mercedes Alley. Lackey, I would have recognized her name out of that list, even if it wasn't in bold. Okay, quick note. Take a moment to go down Artist Alley if you're there. Yeah, yes. they always have really neat it's, stuff. It's really, it's really fantastic. I like going and see this stuff. It's... <laughs> I just some of these people like Ed Beard is pretty famous, but there's a lot of people in here, and it's fun to go look at them. This is a smaller one than the Gen Con one, but it gives you a chance to talk to them. And I would especially recommend going to booth 665 and saying hi to Tina. Um, 
she does all our Dice Tower logo stuff and all the little dice guys that you see everywhere. She does that. She's fantastic. So That's cool. Uh, if you got something from the Dice Tower, I would take it by and get her to sign it, but then buy something, too. From yes. Yeah. yes. So that's pretty neat. Very nice. Film festival. This is one of those things that has boggled my mind that I would... I would go to a film festival convention to do this, not a game one. But huh. it happens every time where people go in and they watch movies. What are the movies? Um, Eye of the Beholder, The Art of Dungeons and Dragons, Baphomet High, Chubby Cafe. Done. Plastic <laughs> Galaxy, Story of Star Wars Toys. Well, that actually sounds interesting. Miniature Wargaming, The Movie. Ooh. Infinite Santa 8000, a director's cut, as opposed to the, the normal one that we've That's all seen. That's the good one. We all know that. <laughs> the one that went straight to the 8000 director's cut. Come on, is... they got to have a description of that. Chubby Cafe. Chubby is the boss of Chubby Cafe. She has four lovely employees, laser, petty, anger, and simple. Lazy? Each of them has a distinct petty, personality. Anger you think? and simple. One day, they saved a mysterious woman named Illusion from a suitcase. Why are Illusion lost her memory and tried to find out who put her in the suitcase and delivered her to Chubby Cafe. We could be talking about cool stuff. <laughs> that sounds the like Smithy a Awards. Fun so, college. So the Smithy Awards are very uh, similar to the uh, Razzies, program, huh? where people get together and watch bad movies and vote on them. Oh, really? Yeah. That sounds good. That'd be great if one of the other movies goes directly from that screening to the Smithy Awards. <laughs> <laughs> Screen twice. I mean, that's good. Unpub has been there at the past. I don't remember them being uh, official before. Just uh, one guy walking around with a noodle and he would stick it at a table. And now they have their own room sponsored by the Renegade here with designer speed pitching and stuff. If you have an unpublished game, this is where you go. Right. Anime area. Or <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's not cool. Subtle, ah. subtle shade. Come okay. on. Do you want to watch it? There's nothing there that's a question. It's just not. No, it's not that it's questionable. Just that we're not interested in it. It's not a bad thing. I also wasn't interested in Chubby's Cafe, but you read the entire description. It was fine. Now I know everyone who works at the cafe. Lazy, grumpy, smelly. (laughs) Her cousin Trippy. Sneezy. Okay, Z, don't forget your origins after dark. Where is that? I guess. Don't say anything uncensored, okay? Not safe for work comedy show. To me, show. saying anything on censor is really weird because the game already could have been that. Well, but they're pushing it that way, I guess. So now they're asking questions specifically for right, that, right, I suppose. Right. Like, you know, what did you think of okay, anyway. Chubby Cafe? <laughs> You're not going to let that go. Barley's, the secret cabal is always going on and on about them. Right. All right. Barley's is a good place to eat, though, for sure. The Doctor Who track. Oh, my word. That's, like, really specific. Wow. I like Doctor Who. I want everything there is to know about it. What does that mean? You follow people like you follow a no, they have different things. Events? There's the state of Doctor Who today. Signings and selfies from these people. I don't know why you would go to it three times in a row. Okay, okay. The second Doctor remembered. I mean, wow. war games screening. Wow. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm glad it's in one place. Oh wait, though. also the, the Cthulhu Thon. I said, I'm done looking at this book. Her tantum in the Do you want to go to Blood yeah. Orgy on Vampire Island? It seems... Is it safe for work? I mean, it doesn't say that, but it should, Blood I feel orgy? like. Blood Orgy? It definitely says triple X. Yeah, but does that mean, like, that's the rating? On vamp... Uh, uh, no, 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 no. See, they have... Here's the dates, and then room B233. That's a missing dates. room. That's a missing room. It's triple X. That so is, don't, that's a placeholder. You, you should not put triple X underneath a title that says Blood Orgy on Vampire Island. Eh, I'm not going to argue That's that. a missing, that's, that's kind of a, an interesting coincidence. They missed, they forgot to put the room, or never got one or whatever. And instead of saying to be announced, yeah, their placeholder was XXX, right. which... Given, I've done myself when I'm filling in just space on a sheet. Right. Okay. Bad but, coincidence. Well, yeah. Here's the thing, though. I have there's already there's some mistakes in this book that people have pointed out online, and this is not the final. This is like a proof. They're gonna. They said they'll fix so the place for the printing. Where is the oh, blood okay. orgy? Okay. Gamer pride, costume contest, comedians. I'm looking for board games now. Music and dance. That's where you're going, right? Yes. Pin bizar- okay, this is this is the thing. When is this going to go away? Just keep going. 
No, I'm just I'm just surprised how many pins there are at this point. There are a lot of pins. Scavenger hunt. You can do that? No. <laughs> Decode all the riddles. Nope. Find the location. Okay, listen. Okay, ignore Z. This is actually something that's fun to do. You, it is. you could hunt down all the clues and locations, and then you can win games. So that's a way to do it. I like the idea of it. And they even tell you what you need. There's the badges. I don't know what this means. It's there are clues, though. I like that, though. I like this one. That, look at clue nine. <laughs> don't say that. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Might I might open a rift somewhere. Oh, the new next move <laughs> game is going to be there. Tookie. Tookie, tookie. And there's a retailer track, so if you're a retailer, you can go and do that. Ooh, that's a cool picture. Oh, my goodness. Look at that picture. That is amazing. I, I, I got to give credit for that. That's cool. I like that a lot. I'd, I'd put that on a wall. That, yeah. Well, I don't know. About I also would not want to be like, I don't know about hey, I'm on the back. This happens a lot in, like, cartoons and movies and stuff where you're on the back and it's an island. But what about the rest of the time? Does that thing never move until the hero lands on it? Correct. <laughs> oh, Okay. Get around Columbus. We, Why is which that we sideways? Yeah, because I have it on the two page thing. Alright. We've taken this C bus before. You get on it and you go to the next location. Oh we have? Oh uh, one time. Or maybe you were I don't remember that, but okay. Local dining. Listen, I can just help you out here. North Market. Right? We're done. Well, for lunch. Yeah, actually there's a lot of places. Uh what's the this uh German village in area? Yes. That is amazing. Go get that food. Man, what you talking about, Zoom? You are the only person in the group who did not like that place. Z Whatever. Nah, that place dude. was awesome. Nah. The German place was amazing. What about the what about the sandwich place? The cheese sandwich. Um, what's that place called? Oh, double decker heart attack place? What's yeah, that called? Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what you should name uh, it. What is that called? Uh, I need to go there. Death by cheese or something like that. You can get cheese. The big one, the hammer. Uh, uh, slam dunk. Now I'm looking Somebody's for it on here. Somebody's insane in here. Somebody's insane. Real say it. phenomenon. Spiritual. Oh, don't forget ice cream too. You gotta get some Jenny's ice cream. Jenny's ice cream. You want then, me to bring you some back? You can eat, he's gonna take a picture Can't of that. Then I'll be like, till my kids. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I forgot what the grilled cheese sandwich place Josh, is called. Lamb. Joshua Gardner says, as a local. The North Market is overrated. Well, it used to be the best market ever until we went to Philadelphia. Melt. 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 That's right. Melt. Go to Melt. It's great. <clears throat> and but. get a full sandwich <laughs> and add things to it. No, They're no, listen, not that listen, big. Listen, I like big sandwiches. <laughs> get half. <laughs> all right, you can get badge discounts at places, community partners. Can I just eat all day? All this day? pipeline game looks pretty interesting, actually. I, th I'm, I don't know. I'm From I'm, Capstone? Yeah. How does that look interesting to you? It just does. Because he likes grids and yeah, stuff and lines. Here's a volunteer. They have an in memoriam for uh, someone who was a volunteer for over a decade. Wow. Mm -hmm. Brotherwise Games advertisement, attendee survey. Sleeves are meant for arms? Huh? Sleeves are meant for arms. All chip theory titles use PVC cards. No sleeving necessary. Are they plastic? That's a weird. Yeah. Well, it's the that's whole plastic. That's a weird. Thing. That's a weird adver. That's the whole advertisement there. That's a whole lot of paper. To hey talk man, about whatever, maybe it'll work. I would love if Mayday's advertisement right here, Mayday. Get your sleeves. I know. <laughs> sleeves are meant for arms. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, future dates. Okay, this is not correct. It's actually June, not July. I read this online. People are like, "What? They're changing to the July?" No, it's still in June. No. So pretty much, and the next year's theme will be games around the world. Those and games are going to be there. The Super Meeple games. Oh, yeah, that's right. Draftosaurus. Uh, Colors, Colors of, Paris of Paris is the new one we don't have. Oh, Draftosaurus. Yeah, oh. We don't have that. And Museum, we th we have, we've seen. But that's a, that's three very attractive games. I'll say that. Very correct. Draftosaurus, you played and you liked. Yeah, well, the whole thing is this Luma company. Luma is bringing all these games in from, you see, Super Maple, Holy Grail, Ankama. Those oh, are three solid things coming okay, out of okay. under one company. Very cool. Then here's all the different sponsors of the show. There's Rodney Smith. 
Oh. Melt gives you a discount if you tattoo their logo on yourself. Seems seems like that's a seems good use legit. of your money. Yeah. It probably is legit, but do you get the discount forever? I assume you would. But what if they go out of business in three months? I don't think that's going to happen. Let's just assume it does happen. <laughs> then why? Let's like, assume it happens. You have a memorable tattoo. I was a cut off that piece somewhere on, on your body. All right, Buckeye Fest Game Fest is run by the Cavs people, <coughs> and they got Rodney Smith going there. You played this one, right? Yes, I like it. I just reviewed it. Nagaraja, that's a cool looking game. Oh, that's that's it. That's the back page of the book. All right. Let's jump off this real quick here, Chris. Let me see if I can pull up the uh, the board game geek. Yeah, we go. Uh, Joshua Gunner says, I have the tattoo. It's for life. What is the percentage, though? Yeah, Josh, what do you, 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 it says you get a card. How big is the tattoo? I wish, I wish you could. No, I, I want to interview this guy. If you're going to be at Origins, I need to never, interview yeah, you. Yeah, never mind. I, I was going to say I wish we could put pictures in chat, but no, I don't. I don't wish that. Never mind. Um, I go ahead. I'm, I'm on now. The, Mon the melt Monte Cristo looks good. Chad Stilson says, "Someone make temporary tattoos." <laughs> that. If you could, if sneaky, you could, sneaky. If you could make it look. No, you, you, you go tell. and the guy, the guy takes out a knife. He's like, all right, we can oh. check. He, he gives you a little cut. Twenty-five okay. percent. That's it. For I'll, putting a permanent tattoo on your body of their do, logo. Okay, I have so many questions. I need to interview this guy. <laughs> they only give like, you twenty-five percent. Like, do they pay for the tattoo? A. <laughs> How big is the tattoo? Where? Are there location requirements for the tattoo? <laughs> now, I would imagine it has to be in a place that I, you could visibly see it. It needs public. to be on your gut. I'm sorry. I've been I there. It needs to be right to here. I need to talk to someone who has this tattoo and can <laughs> tell me some information. All right. Let's, oh, let's look at the games here. Okay. okay so here we are. These, uh, this is from Board Game Geeks Preview. So we're going to have to keep an eye because not all these games will be available. Josh, you got to give us more info. Oh, we're doing Who this cares too? about these games? Well, just we, real quick. You, we're going to zoom through us. this. There are 310 titles, <laughs> so just looking through them. Space Explorers, have you played this one? Oh, that's what we were talking about. I reviewed it. I just talked about that, yes. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Oh, I want that game just because of the name. Jatosaurus, yes. So that's actually going to be there. I, I played so. that. It's really fun. I'm all over it. Monster Slaughter, Sam likes that. And Tales of Glory. Yeah, those are both good games. Yeah, very good. I, I think Tales of Glory is a better game, but they're both re really good. Yeah, but if you like miniatures, oh, yeah. if you like the theme for Monster Slaughter, you'll like it a lot, yes, right? That's, that's right. That's true. Josh says it's on his leg. Cool. Where on your leg, Josh? <coughs> how large is it? Yeah. How? How? What's the Come area on, surface? This is... No, this is this is important stuff. Did they pay for it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Welkin. Do you know Says anything I'll about swing this by one? the booth. There's not going to be a booth. You're going to have to flag, flag. <laughs> just find me, dude, and be like, I'm the Melts tattoo guy. No, don't say that. <laughs> just show him the tattoo first. Just walk up and say, Hey, look at my leg, <laughs> please. And if even if you don't have the tattoo, do it to Z. No, no, mm, no. Welkin, have you heard of this one at all? Welcome to the jungle. It says it's a fantasy industry manufacturing game. No, I don't know anything about it, Tom. Amazing. No idea what that is. It actually looks it looks cool. It looks colorful. It looks good, yeah. I don't know anything about it though. No. Alright. <laughs> Arcane Wonders has Volcanic Isle, which you that think font is, I would know more about. Are you seeing that font? What or font? lack thereof? Yeah. Where? Are you kidding? Like the title's in there somewhere. It says Volcanic Isle in there somewhere. It might um, it might look better in person. It's looking like it's the lava coming out of the mountain. Oh yeah. Cheap Sam was just lot. talking about Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, that's a good game. I still haven't Monsters yet, and Heroes. Got to get it to the table a couple more times. Do it. Quartermaster General Do World it. War II. Wait, wasn't that Quartermaster? Oh, this is a second edition. No, I thought Quartermaster was originally World War I with uh, uh, 1914. Maybe it was. Who knows? Well, this does say 2014, though. Oh, uh, okay. Lots of sword and sorcery stuff. Mm. Yeah, that's good stuff. Ares is, you know, they... They know what their customers like, and they put it out well. All right, B and B Game Studios. Why is that? Oh, they're the terror from the, the deep guys. Uh, uh, that Fool That Witches game looks pretty interesting. 
It does? Folded Wishes, not Witches. I don't want to play a game called Folded Witches. I don't want to play one called Folded Wishes either, but... <laughs> I don't see any more. That's the only picture. Is that another folded game, you think? I don't know. It's kind of weird folding, though. Origami, that would be a much more... I don't think I want to play a game about that. But anyway, they'll have a demo there. Uh, Bard Games. Fickle. It's a push-your-luck card fantasy game. Then Bezier has Cabo, One Night Super Villains. And then Silver, which is based on Cabo. They are actually spamming. Not spamming, but they're actually trying to upload uh, pictures of the melt tattoos into chat. I should have not said anything. Is it possible? Are people doing that? Yeah. Okay, Blacklist Stop Games. It. This is Albino Dragon. They're working with, oh, they're, they're with Albino Dragon. Okay. Okay. So Brook City, we just got in. Sam did mm -hmm. an unboxing of it, which yep. I don't know when that's going up, but it's going up at some point. Alter, Alter Quest. Quest, did you play that one? No. Did you? No, oh, it's just there for demo. Okay, oh, this is an no. upcoming game. Okay. Um, Blue Orange Games is Dragon's Cave. I've not played that I one. Anything about that one? Panic Island. I've played that one. Planet. This is one you want to get, folks. Planet is awesome. It's really cool. Looks mm -hmm. neat. Sherlock Express. Man, we need to like get on this Blue Orange. I don't. Is that Sherlock Express the same as those little Sherlock games? You think? What are those Sherlock games? The very small one that you took one home and played it. I don't think so. That's not Blue Orange. I know it's not, but are they reprinting? Is that what that is? I don't know. I want to say yes, because, you know. Okay, now, Boards and Dice, their booth at at UK was popping. All right, so this is one that you're going to want to go buy. All their games look cool. Sierra West, are demoing. That's going to be released at Gen Con. But Inuit, The Snow Folk, and Dust in the Wings, those both look really cool. They're going to have a demo of uh, the late pre-classic period. And I know people are going to go out of their way to the get that. The game? The late pre-classic period, area movement, point to point. It's an expansion for City of the Gods. <laughs> getting around, getting around, <laughs> having to say the word Teotihuacan. World Shapers. So they have, they're pretty cool to go check out. I mean, obviously, I think there's going to be more interest in the two games that aren't there that's, than the that, ones that are there. That says a lot about just the industry in general. You sure, can probably sure. say that about every booth there. That is what you have to have put onto your your body somewhere. That does not look like a cheap tattoo. That does not look cheap. There's <laughs> a lot of color to it. And they're only going to give you 25% off. I, I get it. It's for life. If you eat there every day, you get the money back. If you eat there every day, you're also not going to need the discount for a long, long time. Either. It's a win-win for the company. <laughs> I guess it is. They're like, hey, would you like some extra cheese? Wow. <laughs> like it's, that, that's actually morbid. Okay. Wow. Back to our thing. Bombix has Imaginarium. That's not new, though. That is new in English. It's never been out in the States before. That's because the Kickstarter failed. That's right. Oh, you're I'm going right. to get another copy of it. In fact, I'm going to get as many as I can because I want to corner the market on Imaginarium. Breaking Games has Dwellings of Eldervale, which we just played, and I really enjoyed that. A demo that. of that, of course. It's coming to Kickstarter. And we're doomed! Brotherwise has the new Unearth game. I wonder... An expansion, yeah. Yeah, the Lost okay, Tribe. Cool. Burnt Island Games has... They're showing a demo of the, the expansion for Endeavor, but I'm, the, I'm assuming they'll have Endeavor there also. Sure. Uh, Calliope Games. Everyone loves a parade, except Sam. I don't like a parade. Oh, never mind. I like parades. Okay. Ship shape. Are you talking about like parades or that game? I've never played that game. No, it's called Everyone Loves a Parade. I'm sorry, but you don't love a parade. Oh, I like the parade. You like military parades. I do. I mean, I like parades in general. I like, I guess. I like any parade. No. Five people walk down the street, I'm going to watch it. <laughs> what? So Capstone, we already talked about some of their stuff. Although it is kind of weird that the stuff here is not necessarily matching up. I agree. Yeah. With the uh, origins <laughs> thing, but the only thing that I can think weird. of that some of the, that that maybe Eric Martin only put it here if it's brand brand new. Okay, because right. this is riveting. You you don't have to have that tattoo as the logo. You can have any type of grilled cheese sandwich tattooed on yourself. Fantastic. You can End just have a grilled cheese. The story is ended. Basically, um, 
And Could it be a ham sandwich? Any type of grilled cheese chin. Okay. Gloomhaven Expansion's going to be there. Talk about it. That's here. cool. <laughs> Chaosium has Miskatonic University. Uh, I just played this. So I guess it says Come On Limited. I, maybe they have a tiny booth in the hall. Oh, it's underneath Asmodee. Oh, okay. okay. So I just played Wacky Races. It's a very, very light racing game. Mm -hmm. Did you play it at all? No, at Come On at Come On Expo, people were saying that you needed a paperweight for it to keep it on the table. That's how light it is. Sure, but I think I think Wacky <laughs> Races where it's really going to shine is kids. Oh, of course. Right, it's that kind of game. Cranio has Barrage. I'm still waiting to get a copy of this one. This is that big Lorenzo sequel. Okay. Oh, Lorenzo really? Magnifico. Okay, okay. Ooh. They're also showing off a new expansion? Or is that a new game? Masters like of the Renaissance. a card game oh, the card version, game? huh? Yeah. Eh. Mystery House. Adventures in a Box. So yet another. Wait, is that literally Adventures in a Box? That's part of the title? Yeah. Yes, but I've seen this. It's amazing. Really? It's a box. And there's doors, and so you can pick up the box and look around through the doors, and as you find clues, you can pull a door out, and then you can see farther into the box. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's, it's really, a, really cool. It's a gimmick. Got it. But it's a cool gimmick. Okay. Letter Jam. It's a gimmick. Okay, so I have not played Letter Jam yet. This is a game that they're demoing at CG, but I'll tell you what, the number of people who came to me and said, go play Letter Jam was, right. was not a small number. It's a game about, you know, uh, fixing copy machines, right? That would be the worst. Have you ever tried to fix a copy machine? I have. It really, it's really. <laughs> it's a cooperative game. Yes. It's a cooperative game. Sanctum, team. they're also demoing that. That's their yes. big game. But I'm telling you, this Letter Jam, many people came to me and told me it was, was good. Everybody was talking about it. It sounds like, a, again, an evolution on the whole word game meets party game meets deduction game. You know, it doesn't sound like it's for me, but. Definitely check it out if you like that. You will notice, though, that almost everything we're going through here is demo, 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 demo. And that does not wait, mean... Wait. Go back up. Legends of Sleepy Hollow. That oh, it's a be... cooperative game. That's cool. There was an old game about Sleepy Hollow. I'm talking like 2002 old, which always intrigued me, but I never did get it. I wondered if that was... I now, realize this doesn't mean there won't be new games at the con. Oh, of course. These are just... He, Eric Martin, who puts these lists together, is putting the new stuff. So there's mostly demos, but the Game of Thrones Oathbreaker will be there. Sam, cool. it was like loved, liked, we're yeah. okay with. It's okay. Right. Nutstash demo. All right. In oh man, do you like that name? What? Intense. Why is that funny, Chris? No. No reason. Okay. That's like a really bad pun, maybe. Yeah, it's a what? Intense. Oh, that's a bad pun. Yeah. Ooh, there's more Age of Steam stuff in case you didn't get enough. Oh, it's a deluxe edition. That was just kickstarted. Yep. And the city, I'm hearing things Which about they that. Kickstarted also, yeah. Escape plan is the big. That's is for the sale. New, it's one. only hundred and twenty dollars. Wait a minute. But the upgrade pack. Because one hundred and forty dollars. Oh, that's the Kickstarter version of the game. Yeah. Well, if I'm in for a penny, in for a pound at that point. You're in oh, for football a Any more bucks? A few hundred pounds. I played football highlights at uh, the gathering. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. I mean, I mean, I, 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 that makes it sound like it's not good. If you like the I baseball it. game, you'll like the football game. It's kind of weird. Did you play it or no? Uh, I played it with someone else. But basically, when you play a, a card, it's your offensive, and then it's your next defensive play, or it's the other way around. It's, oh no, it's your defensive play to the other person's offensive, uh -huh. but then the card becomes your offensive play that then they have to block. Got it. So it's like Shaman King trading card game. On Mars, this one, a lot of people are pumped about this one. This is the next Lacerda, you know, tool game. And the Scarlet Pimpernel is for sale. That's 70 bucks. Man, their games are pricey. Well, what's that? Skull Tales, full sale. That's 100 bucks. Whew. I'm sorry, guys. Games are getting more expensive. There's that no way around good, that. That looks good, though. I hope that's good. That looks neat. Skull Tales? Yeah. Yeah, but man, it's a hundred bucks. Is there miniatures know. in it? Oh, it's ninety nine dollars. Calm down. Yeah, it's a hundred bucks. <laughs> I I apologize Wait, for. Did I just say, oh, okay, no. Let me let's look at it. Was there a picture of it? Yes, there are miniatures. Hmm. That's a bad modular board. That's a bad background background for yeah, your board to show off your game. Well, that's just someone's photo, though. That looks kind of cool, actually. You Click know, on one of the general components pictures. I don't think there's a, a Zora on the game. That's the, oh no, that's the man in black from uh, 
That's the guy from Princess Bride, right? Yeah. The um, pirate, uh, Dread Pirate Roberts. I just realized there is no pirate dungeon crawl style game, is there? <laughs> well, there's that one that uh, yeah. is a tile laying game where you, you can go forward in the thing and you're trying to escape or. I mean, Cardinia? Yeah. Yeah. That's not role playing, no, not dungeon No, not crawler. role playing, but it's possible. I mean, it's dungeon like, crawl. Sure. <laughs> God! Games. Elf Creek. Atlantis Rising. It's Wait, a demo. Elf, Elf Creek? What is that? The folks are reprinting uh, oh, Atlantis Rising. Oh, that's the Rising. name of the game. That's the name Happily, of the Happily, this, uh, this one we're going to be playing live on our channel here. So we're excited we're about that. That'll be coming up later. Not wait for that. Very psyched for that. And, of course, Lord of the Rings, Journey Middle Earth, Fantasy Flight. Hold on, man. Pitch car loop. Mm. They're not, they don't have it there. It's a, for demo. Notice that it's an oval. It's not a circle either. No, no, no. The thing is, it's made out of bamboo. You can make it any shape you want. You can make a spiral. It, cool. The, actually, the coolest thing is that you can, you can also curve it like this, so you can come banked. And shut up. It's amazing. I know. I haven't said a thing. <laughs> what did I say? You're very defensive, little Tom. <laughs> All right. Then, oh, here's Fuji and Magnus. They weren't underneath Capstone, because technically, I guess they're from... Fearland Spiel, but Capstone's Fuel doing it. Magnus Storm is amazing. My first Castle Panic, that's My great for little panic. kids. <laughs> first Fish. I don't know anything about this one. Covorden. Has this one come through, our thing? I don't know what that is. High Rise is being demoed by Gil. Galactic Raptor Games. Animal Kingdoms. There's so many demos on this list. Ooh. Genius games, they always have good stuff. The periodic table, I saw this, this one looks good. I know that, you know, you might go, ah, oh, but their games are always pretty solid no, I know solid what they're games. doing, and what they're doing, they're doing very well. All right, I'm just going to start skipping demos. There's Tricky Tides, that's from Gold Seal. I don't know that company. I'm not sure. I assume it's a trick-taking game. Battle Gorilla Station Games. Dirt side. Is that the? Is that a ground version of the? The one yeah, we played. Yeah. So you're gonna land way now. Way back in the bay. Way way back in the day, right? <laughs> way back in the bay. <laughs> I was sitting on the dock. Uh, Artemis Project was first seen at UK Games Expo, so now it's gonna be here too. We have a copy here, which is gonna hit the table soon for me. I gotta uh, get that one out. All right. And Shikoku, which always Shikoku, Shikoku, the girl is hard to get. Graphic novel adventures. We already talked about this. Ooh, I haven't seen these these covers yet. So one's a superhero one. That's well, we awesome. We don't know that one's the mystery one. Still, we don't. We haven't revealed what it is. The other ones are announced. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes you. Yeah, all right. Pirates. That's cool. Oh, there's two pirate ones. The City of Skulls and the Great Chase. Of course, another, another Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes. Holmes. Another, another Sherlock, Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. I don't care. I want all these. They're great. Have you done any of these? I have. Um, I started one, and I'm a little bit into it. Yeah, but they're they are really super. They're neat. amazing. They're the they're they're different, truly different things. Darwin nuts. Yeah. So a green uh, green couch. Do you trade artwork? You uh, betcha. Yeah. The problem I can is, tell from the thumbnail, man. Well, the problem is the games, the green couch games are always really uh, small. It looks amazing. I saw the cover by a blown up one. I yeah. was like, oh, and then I found out it's a tiny little <laughs> card game. I do like, here we go again, filler. The filler By the card time game. we yeah. get to the end of days here, there's going to be every action mechanism is going to have a game that's called mm, yeah, that. Yeah, probably. Greenbrier's Folklore, the new version of that they're demoing. Gray Fox is the new Run, Run Fight, Fight or Die. die. Why is that a demo? They don't have it there? No, we just got an early copy. Okay. Haba has Honga. Honga. I reviewed uh, that, so you can check that out. Mountains? Is that Mountains from Haba also? Yes. Looks good, though, doesn't it? Oh. Yeah, it does. Oh, no, I played that one. Um, memory Pressure Lock. Basically, you're going out exploring, and you need certain equipment, and so you're going to look through piles, essentially. Mm. It, I don't know if you would like it a lot, because it's very strong memory element. Okay. Uh, Heidelbar, Wordsmith, Dawnshade, which already has me a little unhappy, because it's in a hexagonal uh, box. Okay, here's Holy Grail. They're going to have Museum. They're going to have all the expansions for Museum there. And if they're anything like UK Games Expo, they'll also have the Cthulhu one there. But that one is like a, it was like the uh, Kickstarter exclusive, so. Got it. That's the best. Hub Games Mega City. 
Oh, I love this. This That's is super you fun. Push this stuff you, build, you build a tower and then you push it without it falling over into the middle of the table to connect it to the city. Oh, okay. So it's kind of dexterity, but you can make it so it's not going to fall over, but then you might not score as many points. Right. Otter Kramer sent us 20-something. I uh, don't know what that is, but uh, it says, more Sherlock Holmes, take my money. Wow, if, if Sherlock Holmes takes your money, you're going to be a poor person. Yeah. So, hey, look, another thing for 8-bit box. What is that called? Double, double Rumble. rumble. That's, That's not based on... Dragon. No! Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> that sounds cool. Oh, wait, uh, this I'd is for interested. sale? I didn't realize that. The Bunny Kingdom expansion? That looks pretty cool. I mean, I saw it. I mean, it looks fun. Have you heard of the High Risk? No. I don't think so. Maybe that's a reprint of something, actually. Can you click through on that? I will. Kind of guy, was that a different version? That's uh, an expansion. Yokai. Trevor uh, Benjamin, Brett Gilbert. Brett Gilbert is the guy who works with Matthew Dunson sometimes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know what this is. Huh. <clears throat> yeah, the kind of guy, uh, Yokai, is just an expansion. Oh, that looks interesting. The legendary forest. That looks really pretty, actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's top placement. Oh, I got it. The one what, I'm waiting on is I'm that. What the uh, board looks like for this Bruno one? The Bruno Catala one is, but that's that's yellow. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. You don't like how it looks? Mm -mm. Looks a little too abstracted. It looks like a quilt. Uh, yeah. I don't Some like us the way quilts look. Rose and Indie burn. boards and cards among thieves. I just saw this sitting somewhere. Did you, were you playing this we one? We have it here somewhere, I think. Nope. Conflicting Legends. I haven't played this version, but I did play the original Japanese version. It's a big rock, paper, scissors type thing. Yeah. Okay. Finger guns. I saw that on the table. You Were you messing with that one? Yeah, we were. And? It needs more. We, we only played it uh, We played it live uh, on one of the Testing Tuesdays, I think, when you guys were at uh, UK. And um, there was only three of us here, and it needs more, more players than that. Yeah, okay. Well, if there's more ever fingers. one of these games that says three to eight, it sounds like, okay, yeah, it course. should be six. Of course. Inside Up has Gorus Maximus. That's been out for a while. Premium edition. Japanime, honestly, their stuff is usually not... Our oh, jam at all. I keep going Keymaster, Keymaster. I like their stuff. Campy Creatures. Demo, demos, okay. Parks. Demo. Uh, yes. Kids table board games. So they got Bugs in a Rug. I mentioned Rec Raiders. That's fantastic. And honestly, 42 for that game I thought was a pretty good deal. The components were really nice. Mm -hmm. Colossal will be demoing Hunt the Ravager, a two-player like Scotland Yard type game. Ooh, and then Omen's Omen. Be ready. You yeah, really like that good. one. Yeah, that's a good game. Oh, they have like... Why is there, is there like... All the stuff. Yeah, they had different releases for it. All right, Terrors of London. One. Did we play that one? Nope. Huh. Nope, I haven't played that. Cosmos has the giant exit will be there. The one that's like four or five so hours. More people can fit through. Got it. Emotep the Duel is not there. It's demoing Roll for Ventures. That Roll for Ventures is pretty fun. We'll be playing that one actually very soon live. And then Tribes, Dawn of Humanity. I don't know if the Tribes... There's so many games that have the word tribes in now. Yeah, I'll be reviewing soon-ish. Obviously not before Origins, but soon. The Duel and Tribes. And um, I liked both, I'll say that. <coughs> I really had the picture. I didn't even know where those had come in. Well, we grabbed them at uh, UKG. I did not know that. Well, I mean, I carried stuff in my own luggage. It was a secret. Oh, no, he, was was very it, secret. he was keeping it secret. Don't tell anybody keeping it that safe. I put in my luggage some Cosmos games, please. <laughs> Dark Domains just came in the mail today. No. I was No, I was telling Sam. I showed it to Sam and asked him if he knew about it. Oh, no, I asked you about it. That's for Mr. B. I don't remember. It says Laboratory H. Maybe, they, maybe they're working together. Wait, Vast. What's that one? What's that? Hmm? Journeys of the Emperor. Okay. Vast has the new leader games is the new Vast for demo. That's going to be a sequel instead of it being a cave. Now it's a mysterious manor. Uh, more Ooh, demos. Obscurio. Oh, you like that one, right? Yeah, go try M1 that one out. M1 key is for sale there. That's nice. Go try that out. Loki, who will trick you when you buy the games. Farmini. I don't know what that is. Oh, these guys are working with um, yellow. These games are, I, I saw them in the, in the Origin site book, they were under the yellow. Huh, okay. SOS Dino. 
This looks like a kid's company in a sense. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Space Gate Odyssey. We did a live playthrough of that. My review for that's going up this week. Oh, what's that? That looks new. Wooly Wars. Never ah. heard of that game. Is it brand new? Is it a brand? That's weird. Oh, this is my collection notes. Right, right, right. I was like, wow, they advertised my review. Uh -huh. They did not. No. Maple Games. Dragon Boats of the Four Seas. Wow. That's weird. This one I haven't heard of at all. I've seen, I've heard about it a little bit. Yeah. Madigo has Bahamas for sale. I don't think I've seen that one either. Dungeon Academy only for demo. Wow, we must have got a really early copy of that. Yeah. So that one's fun. I really like it. Don't sweat it. I won't. Skulk. This is only for demo? You uh -huh. think that's done? I mean. Well, actually, it may be a Target exclusive. Oh, that's why they can't sell it. That's, that's very likely, yeah. All right, this one's going to sell out just because next move is that powerful. Tookie, 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 tookie. Obscure reference. Has Overlords of Infinity, Misery Loves Company. That's a really crowded cover. That is a cover. That is a Misery mouthful. Panacall has a Shovel Knight game, which I've, I'm interested in, but because I really did like Wander the Cold of Barnacle Bay. So Shovel Knight this is based on a video game property, from what I understand. This is the big... Minis game, right? That you had. That's the one that looked like it came from. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like that, right? I did, I did. Gold hit. How much is it? It doesn't say. It's for plus. sale. Yeah, but how much they want? More than $12. Pandasaurus, we mentioned them. They're two new games. Ohio. Ohio. The Tetris game and Deadman's Cabal. Oh, and Mental Blocks are demoing. That's a really weird game where you're building this. Oh, they're picking that up. Interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. well, Jonathan Gilmer is the one who was showing it off. Mm -hmm. I know, He's but I forgot designer. that he said that he said it was with them. Yeah. So it's basically you're building a structure and everyone can see one part of it somehow. Side. You, well, not one, side. Some one, people can see the top. Right, and one face of it. It's and some people can only see, like, I think, colors. Well, some people can see, one person can see the entire structure, but there's no color has been removed right. and defining lines. So right. you can kind of see the topography of it. Right. Yeah. But then there's one person who is also a trader who right. wants you to not get it. Although being a trader is really hard, yeah, because yeah. people are like, "Wait a minute!" They can definitely put you in a corner, right? It's a cool game. It's a cool idea. It's a weird concept. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can demo it there. So, and it's really, it's like a really fast game. Yes. And it's a big crowd of people. You're all like walking around the table, looking at it. Yes. Yes. Pastali, I've not played this one. That's also being demoed there. Oh, I don't know. Tasty humans. This sounds like a Z game. Mm. Mm, there. <laughs> Oh, so now Pegasus is now showing up in the States, bringing up the piles up. Castle Rampage, Crown of Amara, which we all liked. I'm all over it. Nobjects? No, no, no objects? No, no. I can't pronounce that it. That's the UKG also, I don't, I don't know. Talisman, this is the kids' version of it, a cooperative game. And the Undo games, have you played one yet? We only got one, and I haven't played it yet, no. Okay, I'm very much looking forward to yes, checking these yes, out. Yes, me too. Then do is kind of like a, another escape room type thing. Got it. Phalanx, Europe divided, and U-Boot. So we'll get U-Boot played eventually. Oh, didn't you play this on Saturday? We set it up. Was that fun? Did you have fun, Tom? No, he just set it up. I know, but did you have fun? He didn't actually play it. It's a really big rule book, man. It's, yeah. It is. Did you have fun, young man? <laughs> Plot hat. Is demoing to do Abomination Frankenstein? That's your theme that's kind of dark. I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. Quirky Circuits. This uh, one I'm interested in because of the book aspect. The Super Punch Fighter, which I believe we have here. I saw it. No, yeah, we did. It came in. Okay. Plan B Games. I'm just telling you guys now, Century is going to sell out. <laughs> so pre-order it through BGG so you can get it. That's what I would do. Okay. Court of the Dead. This one. Oh, I thought this would be out by now. That's been in ages in, in development, I guess. I don't know. Wow, that's a big difference in price between Copenhagen and the Deluxe Edition. But I'll tell you, that Deluxe Edition is so nice. They, the tiles are like... twice as much. Yeah, but these are like tiles. These are like translucent. You know that is like translucent style tiles? Buildings? They're actual buildings? No, they're not actual buildings. No, they're actually shaped like buildings? No, no, no. They still look like the regular tiles. They're just translucent. They're plastic. flat. They're not 3D? No. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. U-Boot Sucks Confirmed is not what he was saying. No, 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 no. no, no I'm just no, saying no. that it was 
We set up the. It was so long setting it up, and it was it's, really noisy. It's not a, what what he usually does is he takes a game to game day without having looked at the rule book at all. I and can't then, do that with this and one. And then try and figures out how to play the game on the spot. He, he, he wasn't able to do that. It one. always bothers me when I can't do that with the game. Doesn't mean that it sucks. It just means that it's too much. It was also to, not to doing that. It, it was a really weird day. There was thunderstorms. <laughs> the electricity kind of went out. Your table got super dark back where you were. Oh, yeah, because the yeah it was a huge electrical thunderstorm. And the lights went out in the store. And it so was really I to wanted see. to see the game. It was just yeah. a bunch of Sounds things. Sounds like a lot of excuses to <laughs> not say that it sucks. It doesn't suck. All right, Renegade Games, we already talked about their stuff. Bubble Tea. They had this new Clank Legacy Acquisitions Incorporated Upper Management Pack. It's just a small thing. It's not like... Jeez. You're talking about the title? Yeah. title's longer than the game. Hey, a roll and write. Hex roller. <laughs> it, it, it holds true to the... Uh... The uh, rule that was put in place that Eric by, put by out Mr. There. Summer. <laughs> That's the truth of it. Dice jumping out at you. Well, proving ground sounds interesting, but it's dice rolling in real time, which... Oof. Where's that revolution that, game you were talking I about? I demoed one from them that's not on this list. I forget what it's called. Art? Artsy? Artsy. Artsy fartsy. Oh, this one I'm, I'm pumped about. Conspiracy. So Justin was supposed to bring us on Saturday to show him, but then uh, it didn't come in time. But it's coming for Origins. This oh, is wow. the remake of the classic game. I'm really looking forward to this. Cool. And they're going to demo off the new Spiders for Fireball Island and Unmatched. Although, I can tell you this, because I saw it, this is a final production copy hmm. of Unmatched. He was, he was showing off on Saturday, so that will be there. That would be cool to see. There's Caravan. That's the one you were talking about. That's the one. Oh, yeah. We talked about this one, too. That, that has a pretty... I like the cover in Nevada City. That's who's the designer of that? Of either? Oh, I can't. Oh, that says Alex somebody. Uh, Nevada City is Alan Ernstein. He's done. Um, what else has he done? Ink Empire. Okay. Okay. And Dry Gold. Yeah, Ink and Empire is his big one. Oh my okay. goodness. Okay. Cool. We and should not have mentioned Joe Huber's caravan. Oh, okay. oh, that's interesting. He hasn't designed a game in ages. Yeah. We should not have mentioned the whole a certain letter of the alphabet because we're getting spammed by those YouTube channels in our chat right now. That's not possible. I'm telling you it is. I just deleted one. How would that? And I deleted. Uh, so somebody else deleted another one. All right. Oh, we further. mentioned a letter, and someone jumped in there. Three instances of a certain letter. Maybe we're just that popular. At the very end of Everyone's the coming alphabet. on. Okay. Anyway, Puerto Rico expansions. Well, near the end of the alphabet. These are the old and expansions. Oh, oh yeah. really? Yeah. That's interesting. I didn't know this was coming back. You can get the the expansions <laughs> one and two. They're not bad. Interesting. Is it not included now? By now, I guess not. It was included in the new in the deluxe version, but then not. Rock Manor, Royal N, a Scorpion Mask. I'm not sure who they're with anymore. They used to be distributed by Yellow. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Shoot Again Games, as opposed to the first time. So they used to be called Shoot Games, but they they went out of business. They're back. Wait, Pinball Showdown, Wizard Mode, that's... I played Pinball Showdown, but I didn't know that her company was called Shoot Again Games. Well, Grim Masquerade will be there. That's a fun game. We were just yeah, talking about that one. The Menace Among Us. I like that name a lot, actually. That's cool. Smirk and Dagger, yeah. A Wooly Whammoth. Wait, there's two games that start with the word Wooly? <laughs> wooly Whammoth, man. There's a difference there. That one's for sale. I'm getting it. Smirk and Laughter, which Shobu. is the same company, but these are the nicer games. Shobu, and then we need to talk. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna put this. I'm gonna put <laughs> this, this on your desk. A joke waiting to happen. Yeah, I think in this one actually it sounded pretty funny, where it's a party game, of course, in which you're having an intervention for someone, but they don't know. It's a it's a a traditional uh, improv game. Oh, they where don't like, know why you're having an intervention. Yeah, like we're we're having an intervention, an intervention for Sam, but we see cards that are his issue where we're having an intervention, and he doesn't know. So his issue might be like he's he collects too many poodles. That's it, right? And we're like, listen, Sam, uh, 
I, I know there are pills for allergies, but lately it's just they're not doing it anymore. You really have a problem, you know. You got to cut down on that. It's that, and then he's of course navigating, trying to figure out what the oh, issue is. That it's sounds an fun. It's game. It's you know, it's funny though. Social sloth is the uh, the new kids thing for Gray Fox games. So I just reviewed one of their games, but it's not here. I reviewed Feelings, I think. Feelings. And then Solarflare has Robotech Crisis Point. Ro Robotech. Where Suddenly, are we in this list? We're almost at the bottom. We're in as Space Balloon as Brides and Bribes, which has been out for a while. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's uh, very Splattered old. Ink has Dobbers, Quest for the Key. <laughs> Spontaneously Combustible. Welterweights. I like that picture, actually. I like that artwork a lot. That's Foam Brain Games. Deadly Doodles. Steve Jackson has lots of munch Munchkin Warhammer. Do you, want to, do you want me to get your copy of that? Deadly Doodles. War Munchkin. Come on, I Warhammer mean, Munchkin. That's like munch hammer. your mind is going to like melt. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I give it a try, but... Ooh, I'm, I'm pumped about like this. It. The new Ascension Skull and Sails. And the Ringmaster. Pirates, That's a, Ringmaster. This is a pretty cool looking game, but it's a small game from Justin right. Gary. Strawberry Studios. Bon Appetit. Little Monster, I have this. That's a long name. Little Monster that came for lunch and stayed for tea. Huh, Bon Appetit looks interesting. Mount Rushmore. I like, I like, I like Strawberry Studios stuff. It's usually pretty yeah. cool. Stronghold. We can skip this. <laughs> we've wow. seen most of these. Astro Drive. Bricks, we've done. Yeah, these Wait, are. Did you review it already? Which one? Astro Drive? Bricks. Oh, Bricks. I did. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Dizzle looks more interesting. I haven't played it. And Encore, I th I'm guessing I've already reviewed Nokmal, which is the same game. Just looked that up. Second Chance, he was showing off on Saturday. It's okay. another, but it's uh, Rosenberg. It's like, he's like, ah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my tiling and I'll make it on Has paper. Has Space Freak's been out for ages? This is the expansion. I dare you to say that title out loud. The Violet Morris. Thank you, Sam. Twice as clever. This is this is the one people would go into the booth for. You wanted for. him to do it, didn't you? This is the one people go into the booth for. Twice as clever, for sure. Sam's twice as clever. Ooh. And Valparaiso, I'm doing a review of this week. Coming out uh, in a few days, a couple days. Super Meeple, this is one of the booths I would go by and look at. Their stuff, their Cusco is beautiful. Sam wants Mississippi Queen when that comes I out. Do. You like Mississippi Queen? I do. And U.S. Telegraph, which is a remake of... Uh, Attica. Attica. Oh, joy. Da oh, I love that cover a lot. Vinyl, that looks cool. Uh, it's got a record player on it. Do you know anything about this one? It's about record players. It's about 45 to 75 minutes. It's got a solitaire mode. It's 60 about bucks, $60. Though. I know a lot about it. <laughs> he asked. Hmm. It's called the Vinyl. Vinyl? Mellow engine, greener grass. Wait, where's like five guys with their shirts off in weird positions in the front of those, all those those albums? Swell jazz group. That's not a great cover there. Cookie cutter. Alrighty. We're almost done. Crusaders, Downfall. These are all games. Hentes. These all came out at. Essen, I think. Rolled oh, West. Rolled West. I'm excited for that. Oh, I really like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, the Gold West. Gold West. Yeah. Wow, there are so many Roll and Write games now, though. Try to stand out in that crowd. It's yeah. going to be hard. The OP. <laughs> they they changed it now. Trash. Die. This one I want to play. Die Hard, the Nakatami, Nakatami heist. heist board game. Wait, Dungeon Academy is here, too? Talisman Batman, it was for sale. Yeah, we're going to play it live. Ooh. Or Talisman Kingdom Hearts, uh, you get to pick one. I'll choose Batman, thank you. Okay, now these, Thunderworks, people are excited about this. He showed me cartographers that looked pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah, I've seen these. They look cool, but they're still demos. You're right, it's all demos. Oh, they got the new role player expansion, Fiends and Familiars. It's a demo. This one I'm pumped about when it comes still out. still a demo? Wow. A lot of demos. Victory Point games, we were just talking about them. That's true. I'm reviewing a game from them. Lots of play. This one's weird. This Echidna. Oh, never mind. He just... Okay, that's why he said it's... Because it was nominated for an Origins Award. We are Draft as that big, easy busking demo. That was on Kickstarter, I believe. Don't know what that one is. We are Draft. We played one of their games. Remember that one? We played that one where the little spaceships were going to planets, and you had to move them up and down these rows of cards. Mm-hmm. 
That fire in the library cover looks neat. White Wizard Sorcerer, you guys played that? I didn't play this one. No, I, I played that, yeah, I played that yeah. live, and then I reviewed it. It's good. If you like um, Magic the Gathering-esque collectible card games, it's got a good dark theme, and it's kind of like Smash Up. You take three different parts, shuffle them, play the game. It's, it's neat. That looks dark. I'm thinking so, too. I want, to see, I want to see the cover here close up. Yeah, yeah no. That's <laughs> no. That's a wee bit freaky. I can't tell what I'm looking at. Hakaona, it's a some kid that's like reaching up at you. Okay. With... I'm out. That's inside the box. I'm out. Oh, wow. I'll get that and leave it on your desk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you're gonna get that. We need to talk again. It's just gonna keep showing back up. Ooh, Kotachi. All right, we talked about a lot of this stuff. So this is a different. This is another game based on Magic: The Gathering from WizKids. I think it's a what are they calling now? Deception games. That's what we're calling them. That's a deception game. Yeah. Oh, this is the one I th that I thought Rise about. Of Ambulance, That's yeah. the one you played. Hadara. Dan. Rise and Fall of Ambulance. And Z-Man, Hadara. A lot of people have really liked this one. Yeah, you liked it. Awesome. Really good game. Maui is one of those simultaneous selection style games. It's Maui. No, I'm pretty sure this one's Meowie. It's cats. Oh. Wow. Meowie. And not to, This is weird that these are demos. This game's out, isn't it? That game is definitely out. I Narabi think. is also out, isn't it? Yeah, and so is Meowie. <sighs> Which one? And then Zephyr Workshop, AGS, combining robot strategy game. That's That was for sale at Gen Con last year. Well, it's still for sale. Look at that. At least it's not a demo. <laughs> All right, we made it through. Whew. All right, real quick, we'll take a few questions, then we're going to shut down. Let's see what we got. Any questions about Gen Is Con? Is anyone still watching this? <laughs> yeah. About what? Yes, okay. About Origins. You made a mistake. Well, I was well, at least he's not wearing the shirt. <laughs> Why did you have to say something? We almost at the end of the video. You did that to yourself, young man. I didn't man. do it on purpose. I'm Next sorry. time, do not pick oh, on right. your superior. By the way, when I ask for questions, I mean specifically I mean origins related questions. What about okay? um, other conventions, possibly? Say, uh, yeah. stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Ask your question. Well, you get asked question. What's what's your recommendation for new people? Uh, and and my big one is always two things: get comfortable shoes. I need to get on that. Actually, I need a new pair of shoes or soles. That's right. You blew your shoes out. I blew them out, son. Walking. I told you we walked a lot. I destroyed my innards. And then the second thing is don't schedule Ew. too much. Just go around Foot and have innards. fun and look at stuff. <laughs> It's gross, right? Why no yeah. booth this year? Because booths are incredibly, expensive. incredibly expensive, and we have to all fly there. But the big thing is, is Origins is right between UK Games Expo and Dice Tower Con. Mm -hmm. It's going to be tight. It's a turn and burn, and then burn again. Is a taco a sandwich? P. Cherry wants to go no. to Melts with you. He wants to what? P. Cherry wants to go to Melts with you. Let's do it, buddy. Find me. We'll make it happen, if man. If you could get a discount for any restaurant, what tattoo would you get? Taco Jenny's, Bell. Son. Jenny's ice cream right here, man. <laughs> I would, Chinese no, restaurant. Jenny's ice cream. Oh, Jenny's. I heard Chinese. Or that donut place. Ooh. <laughs> no, All right. What would I do? I don't think I would. I don't like any restaurant that much. <laughs> Yeah, so so we couldn't we can't go to all conventions, especially with us running more and more of our own conventions. Yeah. So we're gonna send small teams to conventions sometimes, like with Origins. So Origins also has a big overlap with Gen Con. So many people go to Origins, go to Gen Con. So we'll we'll have a big presence there. Yeah, Z and Roy are confirmed for Origins. Yes, Z and Roy. Do you want gourmet popcorn, caramel cheddar, anything? No, I. Uh, uh, yeah. A taco is not a sandwich. No, because bread is not involved. What about if it's a like a, a fluffy taco? Taco's not a sandwich. Taco. Like if, if you make that tortilla thing fluffy and fluffy and fluffy enough that it's basically uh, it's not bread. Bread. No, it's not. Here's the thing. If I said, like if someone comes to me and says, "Do you want a sandwich?" Like and I'm pita. like, "Yeah, sure." You bread? know, I'll take any sandwich. And they brought me a taco. I would it's say this is not a sandwich. Bread. It's pita bread. It's unleavened bread. Don't throw words at me. I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, I guess people don't have a lot of questions about Origins. <laughs> Are we all going to Essen? That's not about Origins, so we're not answering that question. Oh, you were bad. 
Press the shock them button. The show is, the show is bread. No, it's not. I, you don't go to the store and be like, I like a loaf of bread, and they give you a taco shell. I'd be like, I'm sorry. I think we've had a miscommunication here. The shell is not bread. Why are we talking about this, y'all? <laughs> The shell is not bread, <laughs> especially if it's a corn tortilla. Is bread made from corn? No. I don't know how bread works. You can make corn bread, but... Mm, I love <laughs> corn bread. Once again, we'd like to thank Panasaurus for sponsoring this video and apologize to them for the way it's turned out. Um, hey, listen, so a couple things. First of all... We use Board Game Geek there. You can go there and order games and pick them up at the con if you're worried. I don't think most of these games are going to sell out. A few might. Uh, Plan B games are going to be hot. Yeah. Maybe some of the Capstone games. So you never know. It's a good thing to do. I would certainly, I would, I would consider doing that for sure. Yeah. Secondly, um, Z and Roy will be there and they'll be roaming around. But if you find them, say hi to them. Please do, especially Roy. He's never been to Origins before. That's right. We're he's a, he's a baby, an Origins, Origins baby. Now. So, Where? Oh, what's your favorite year attending Origins and why? Oh, that's easy. My favorite ever Origins was right after Jack Bass and Memorial Fun. Remember we had that booth <laughs> and we were, all, we were raffling off games in the booth at the end and huge crowds came oh, by yeah, cool. and Bart was standing up and shouting out numbers. Yeah. That was super awesome. It was not super great for Everybody the booths around, around us. We apologize to those booths, but... And that was also the year we met Bonacore, so it was not all good. But, um... This guy, man, that's just mean. Man. Mm -hmm. All right, are we good? Stupid idiotic stuff. Okay, all right, all right. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks, Panda Stars, for sponsoring. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. I'll see you there. I'm Sam Healy. I will not see you there, and tacos are not sandwiches. They are not! But he'll see you on the flip side. Period. End of discussion.